of course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we've got another Boba Fett review. We're looking at the 6 inch Black Series beauty that this is. Australian fans are rejoicing. This thing has finally hit Zing Pop Culture stores and EB Games. Um, stay tuned to the uh, listing online because they could become reavailable anytime soon, uh, along with sort of cancelled pre orders and such. But pre orders seem to be all arriving, and basically, if my store's got it, most stores should have them in stock and ready to go now for, for your pre orders. So I'm so pumped with this one. Another addition to Return of the Jedi. This is the sixth figure, it is a deluxe version. Um, yeah, I can't wait to open it and show you properly without that annoying ring light there, <laughs> which is the reflection. Um, yeah, awesome figure. Let's crack it open. All right, here is the man, Fett, out of the packaging. What a sweet looking figure it is. I, I love this thing already. It's so good. Great accessories. Absolutely fantastic. A uh, few little few little issues straight out the package obviously we all know about the sort of the squashed helmet that's an easy fix there are plenty of videos uh, the Darth Prime did a fantastic video of how he did the fix um, just trying to get that shape back also the cape which is a sort of a really soft malleable plastic was squashed in the packaging uh, so it sort of left this bit of crease there um, that should be easy enough to fix again with some boiling water or a hairdryer just to sort of get that back to its original original shape one thing I'm sort of noticing is that his whole armor piece, uh, the sort of undershirt here is actually a really soft sort of malleable plastic over the top of a body mold. So that's, I find that to be really interesting. Like they've just used a sort of basic body underneath and you can sort of see, uh, if we zoom up right there, you can sort of see that the uh, pegs don't align there if you move it. Uh, which will be fine once the jetpack on that's not going anywhere, but it looks like they've got a body mold underneath that They're going to use again at some point um, With maybe a similar yeah, Maybe similar looking armor maybe from a more recent appearance. I dare say that's a possibility But uh, we'll get a look at a better look at the figure as soon as we've had a look at the accessories And it does come with this cool flame piece that goes on his flamethrower Which is absolutely awesome. I love that a lot <laughs> That looks badass. If they can get it on straighter, that'd be even better. That looks cool. I really, really dig that look. That's awesome. Uh, it also has some flame effects, which uh, just simply plug into the jetpack. Nice little peg. They're not gonna fall out, it's nice and tight. The jetpack itself looks really, really nice. The missile does come out. So you can have that as a pre-launch and post-launch jetpack. <laughs> Um, now sort of looking at the detail on this and the nice sort of silver paint stripes there, but I could be forgiven um, But I'm sure I've seen some reviews where that is white um, But I could also be confused with the uh, vintage collection one that I've just looked at I have watched a lot of Boba Fett reviews recently. I would love to hear I love hearing everyone's thoughts on these figures, so I could have been mistaken, but considering they did the uh, little silver pins there on either side of the sort of rocket launcher there, but they didn't do them there is really interesting to me. <laughs> I just feel like that's just a slightly missed detail there, but you know, I've got a silver Sharpie. That's, that's an easy fix. I'll, I'll get onto that as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, in terms of detail, it looks great. Nice sort of weathering and damage on it. So the paint damage looks good. The pegs look good there. I'll just put that aside. Uh, he also comes with sort of Darth piece. So this will just sort of uh, fit over his wrist there. So appearing as if it's part of the gauntlet, but uh, you know, it's just a cool additional, you know, if you wanted to display that, you know, he's wrapping up Luke or whatever, you can do that. But uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's an unnecessary accessory, but it's a nice bonus. So I, I definitely appreciate that. So next up we get a blaster which uh, is in two parts. You can peg it together. I don't know why, <laughs> because if you peg it together, you that's actually really tight. So once you peg it together, you get the slash marks through it anyway. So uh, yeah, you know, it, it's it's fine. I'm not necessarily gonna need it, but uh, 
yeah, I don't really understand the point of having the peg and the peg hole. They should have just sculpted that with a little bit of damage at the end. But that's cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate the uh, the sentiment of giving us a you know another option for a full accessory if you wanted to. But he does come with just the full standard regular blaster rifle here, which looks nice, much like the uh, vintage collection version I just reviewed. Again, sort of a nice sort of rusted details on it. Looks good. Looks really good. I like it a lot. Fantastic. All right, let's build him up. <laughs> so here we have Fett. We'll take a look at the figure before we uh, start putting all the accessories and stuff on him that I'm going to keep. So the helmet looks good despite the shape. Like I said, I will fix this after I've done the video before I uh, start mucking around with him a little bit more. But it looks good, nice sort of weathering and details, the scratching and all the paint chips and stuff look great. Underneath there is a head sculpt, I'm sure it is very much the same as the clone clone trooper head sculpt, but uh, I think Hasbro, that's Hasbro leaving their options open um, to do another variation of Boba Fett, like the uh, Mandalorian version, I think that's an absolute no-brainer. Move his arms out. The Wookiee pelts again. That look all right. He's got the butterfly joints in there, so that's nice as well. This sort of pouch thing here is a very loose and sort of wobbly around. All right, just to lift him up a bit there. So I'm probably going to find the best place for that to sit and uh, actually glue it down, just because I don't think it's going to hinder the movement once I've got it where it needs to be. And yeah, I get a little bit frustrated when things wobble around, but again, they're just using it for the base of a figure. As you can sort of see there, there is a cut there. So they're definitely leaving like, they've definitely got like a solid base underneath all these extra accessories and stuff to uh, do different variations using the sort of same base figure later on. So the knee darts look good. The boots, the sort of tools in his pouches there on his shins, they look good too. I do actually, I do actually really like the sort of plastic sort of cape. I'm not, I like soft goods when it's done well. Um, and I like, I like plastic when it's done well too. And this looks all right. Not too bad at all. So let's get that jet pack on. And yeah, that's uh, it's that plastic, plastic sort of overshirt armor mold. It's uh, causing that to be a little bit difficult, but, uh, once I got it in, I think it'll be fine. Yep, that's in, that's fine. That looks good. I love that the uh, jets are sort of posable so you can have him launching forward. I always wondered how, um, you know, Fett sort of flew around without burning his pants. <laughs> of course, that's uh, they're movable so you can sort of launch forward. Love on the gauntlets. That look good. That looks good too. Nicely weathered and detailed. Let's give him his rifle. Nice tight hand joints, which is good. Sometimes they're a little too 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 good. <laughs> and yeah, the I'm going to have to adjust that when I do some hot water work. He's getting that finger. It's hard from behind the camera, I'll be honest. But uh, yeah, it looks good. Get him holding that. It's a great looking figure. I'm really, really impressed with this one. It looks good. Let's pose him up a little bit here. Put the flame effect back on. So we've got that the right way around. There is a certain method there. So I can get him to stand up. No, nope, I'm just going to hold him. Again, a little bit more time. I don't want to spend all, all the whole review sort of just trying to pose him up, but I'll get it get it looking good. What a sweet figure. Really, really cool. Definitely love to hear your thoughts on this one. Please drop a comment below and tell me what you think. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I'd really, really appreciate it. 
and hit the notification bell so all my videos drop to your inbox as soon as they're released. Again, thank you very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you, always.